My family and I moved to Virginia for my first teaching position at South County Secondary School. I was excited and terrified all at once to be teaching. My classroom was kind of hard to find. Uh, the building is laid out in a really weird way, but I eventually figured out how to get there. This is my middle school classroom. An empty classroom presented a multitude of possibilities. Who would my students be? And would they like me as a teacher? Five weeks into my first year of school, one of my smaller middle school classes was dropped and I was assigned to teach an additional high school class in this room. I had a much more difficult time teaching the high schoolers. I originally wanted to be a woodshop teacher. Come to find out that newer schools and technology education programs in general are phasing out traditional shop classes. Our production lab is very small, so f small in fact that it's not realistic to have a whole class in here at once. This changes the kinds of projects I thought we'd do. I prepared daily for the battles of content, behavior problems, and organization at this desk. There was a lot to do in a very short day. Resources and materials were plentiful for my program. However, there was very little organization. My storage room is a testament to this. The school day started at 9 a.m. and ended at 4 p.m. I really loved this schedule since I didn't have to get up too early. In ways, the school day was very short, but in other ways, it was very long. Smart boards and projectors are installed in every classroom at South County. The building is only three years old. It is awesome to have such great technology to teach with. This saved me on many occasions. By the end of the year, I had learned many things. The next year would be a clean slate for me to implement new curriculum, classroom management strategies, and engagement activities that I had learned during this first year. If I had to give myself a grade for my first year of teaching, it would be a C, about average.